All right, my babies, Libra, what it be, bruh? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera off my chill, baby, chill shit. Y'all see, I ain't trying to get all fancy for y'all today. I'm chill in my t-shirts and my jeans, y'all. Listen, I just want to be comfortable today. So, look, y'all don't be trying to come for me in the comments. Like, what she got on? Comfortable. That's what I got on. Comfortable like shit. It's like, let me start. <laughs> What's going on, Libra? It is your girl, Scorpion Reds. What is popping? Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you who's clicked, like, shared, and subscribed to this video. You guys were the most watched time for October, so you know we're going to start off with you, big baby. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we are in here to find out what the energy is surrounding my beautiful Libras for the month of November 2020. Show me the money season. You already know we in the season of Thanksgiving and just just being thankful for just everything that we have and the blessings and abundance of our life. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, all right? So um, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with me, with Shira, with Vera, with Scorpion Reds, the only thing you need to do is click the About tab on my YouTube page. I have my pricing list there. I do my readings on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, we can do the video reading on Google Hangouts. It's a free, easy app to download. And the only thing that we need to exchange on Google Hangouts to connect with each other for your reading is our email. My email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So if you don't have Instagram, just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. We'll get you all set up on Google Hangouts and it's going to be an amazing experience. So if you have any questions whatsoever about how to book with me, connect with me again on Instagram Messenger or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Okay, we are reloaded. If these videos resonate and if you want to send some love and support to the page, if you want to donate a deck, you can check out the Amazon wish list. The majority of the decks here were all sent by you. So thank you again to everyone who has supported the page at any point in time. Have it been 2018, 2019, or 2020. I thank you so much for all of the love and support that you guys have given the channel. Um and all forms of payment and donations are accepted on Cash App and PayPal, okay? So, as you know, we always want to give praise and thanks to Father God the Creator for just bringing us here today. So, bow your head with me. Let's, uh, you know, give thanks. So, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Libra. We're excited. We all hyped up. I, I know we are ready for Thanksgiving. It's one of the most favorite times for a lot of us during the uh, year where we all get to come together around some amazing food, family and love and just be festive and just like share and just abundance and just happiness and just wealth and faith. You know what I'm saying? Like being around people that you love, seeing a smile on their faces, seeing the, the, the new babies in the family, the little kids, the new lives being brought into our generations. Like, it's just a beautiful, beautiful moment. And we're just so thankful for everything that we have. We, we're so thankful for everything that we have to give. And we're so thankful for everything that we've been receiving, Father God. We believe in everything that you're doing in our life, Father God. And we don't ask no questions. You know, we don't ask no questions, Father God. So we just walking on this journey hand in hand with you, Father God. And we just uh, thankful for you just being in our life and walking with us the way that you are, Father God. So thank you so much for the season of just Thanksgiving, Father God. And we're, thank we're thankful for you every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Libra, let's get into this, y'all. I know y'all waiting for me to bring this deck out there. What do you mean, deck? Now listen. <laughs> love this deck. I don't even think I use these cards for the game that is actually used for any, anymore. We do still play the game because the game is hilarious but um, I love using these cards for my readings. It is so funny and how accurate it is explaining you guys' emotions is hilarious to me. So let's see what is the general energy? What do we mean? What's God meaning right now with this message that he's about to give to us today? So let's see, Libra. Let's give it two more shuffles. We're going to take one off the top. Ooh. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Okay, so I just heard the word inactive. 
said that you were inactive right now. Something. You said you put something inside that you inactive right now. Alright. Let's find out what this means. You inactive. You just initiated the defense armor system. So I don't know if you in the house chilling, you being inactive. <laughs> well, I got why am I picturing someone? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It's like you just in the house chilling with your security system on in your reclining chair, kick back, drinking some wine, watching TV and shit like that with all your windows open and shit. <laughs> but you got your security system on for some reason. It's like you're home though. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's like, I, I, I don't know why you like that, okay, um, I guess if something move up in your yard, you want to know, ooh, ooh, then the find the lesson card just popped out, okay, now hold on, looks like there's a lot of people in her court, she looks very, very, very uninterested in what people are saying, like, why am I here? What is the lesson and the purpose of these people being around me right now? What am I doing? <laughs> what, what are they even talking about? It says discover the purpose in the situation. Trust that you are learning. Mm. Maybe you're inactive with this group. And you don't want nobody popping up at your house. I don't know why well, I feel like you're inactive with this group of people and you're just in your house chilling and you got your security system on with your windows open because it's like, I'm home. I'm just not answering the door. <laughs> I'm seeing somebody with the ring, right? They got the ring on their phone. And when someone walk into your yard, you pull out your phone like, yeah, that's Abigail. Fuck that bitch. Okay? And you might even sit there and turn your music up loud. <laughs> so the motherfuckers can see you sitting in there chilling and hear your music so they know that you home and shit. But you just ain't answering the door. Okay? <laughs> Why you... <laughs> Why am I so tickled? <laughs> Woo! Y'all being petty betty in the name. In the name. Look, the Cheshire Cat just laughing like. <laughs> like these motherfuckers don't know that this bitch don't like them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the Cheshire Cat know. It's like your cat, your spirit animal know that you do not fuck with these people. And you and, 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 and the cat is just laughing. Like they just still talking to her. They can't feel the vibe that she don't fuck with them. Ding. <laughs> Am I correct? Oh my gracious Lord help me. Okay, come on. Pull up. A pop out. Let's see who in that beach. Oh, well. All right. Let's, let's get these last few cards, you guys. You know, we got the Alice in Wonderland spray going on today. Hunte. So, you all right? Hold on. You know, I don't really like to do these cards in reverse. So let's see what we got here, Libra. Y'all can go ahead and put the timestamp in the chat. So let people know. Right here is the time to go. So let's get it. Center, enter, G. Look. <laughs> Look, you sitting there pondering. Your mind wandering. You thinking. I'm serious. Trying to find the lesson in the situation. Like, 
why these people have been introduced into your life, what purpose they serve to you, like, what's the point, like, whatever the, this, this, these people are trying to engage with you in, the fact that you are thinking now to go inactive with them, and what did I say earlier, something about going inactive and uh, uh, um, and act, going inactive and but activating the alarm system or something like that. I don't think you really, really want anything to do with this group anymore, and it's something that's been kind of like eating at you a little bit. And it's like it has to be a purpose in this like everything happens for a reason like these people wouldn't have came into my life for no reason like why was I introduced to this organization to this group to it's like um I want to say it's like a social group or something I don't even think that this is your family it could be your family but I really don't feel like this is your family. I feel like this is a group of people that is completely outside of your home. You may know them like in passing or you may know them a little bit. And I feel like for whatever reason, you got really, really close with these group of people. And it's like, what is this? The four clubs. What is this saying? Why is a raven like a writing desk? Again, these are like questions question so the four clubs again the club is like a social group it's a social group this is like um some type of networking franchising group like the four clubs is something where you are being indoctrinated into um a new standard of living, a social setting. They may be asking you like a lot of questions, like probing you to see. I don't know. Are you being um, vetted out to come into this group or something? It's like, why, why is a raven like a, writing, uh, like a writer's death? It's like they're questioning you, trying to see if you're smart enough to... be invited into this organization it's like I don't know why I'm getting like a secret society or something I want to say like you feel like this is a group of weirdos or something like that like the shit that they're asking you is weird as fuck um I, I, I'm feeling like this is a networking situation like the only reason why you're even around these people is possibly for like a to like further your social standings like literally to network or something like that oh I wanted to reach I wanted to reach I wanted to reach I wanted to reach okay so let's see you got the high priestess again like I'm saying I don't know if this is like some type of spirit group or something Again, like I'm saying, I feel like this is some type of secret society. This is like some type of spiritual group, something that's hidden, that's like not broadly known to the rest of society. I really do feel like you're being vetted, like you are being sourced out to be um, initiated in this group. Like this may be start of an initiation process or something like that. Um... I really do. It's like, I feel like this is some type of secret society or something. They're asking you these questions to see how much you know already. Like, what level your mind is on in regards to your spiritual insights and your gifts or something. I, feel, I really do feel like you feel like this group is weird as fuck. You feel like these people are weird. The Page of Pentacles. Then you see like breadcrumbs and stuff. So again, this is like you being invited to something. It's like good news. It's like this is a great opportunity. Um, this may be like a new job offer. Uh, uh, like a, say like um, a business offer. This is something new. This is something where you're very young. Um, 
they're saying they feel like you're very impressionable, like you can take on this knowledge, they feel like you're a quick learner. Um, with this high priestess here, it's like they feel like you already know a lot and you don't mind kind of being to yourself to kind of like study on your own. Like it's like <clears throat> Okay, they're asking you these questions to, like, um, initiate you in this group. Why is a raven like a writer's desk? And it's like, you think that these motherfuckers are strange. Like they, they, they're giving you mushrooms and shit, trying to get you high. Motherfuckers partying. You know, you like, these motherfuckers weird as shit. But at the same time, like, you're answering the questions. Wondering why they're asking you this weird ass shit. Not really realizing that they're about to, like offer you a chance to like become a part of this group and I, I, I want to say like this group it's like finding a needle in a haystack it's a strange little fucking group but I want to say that this offer could lead you to a, a lot of like financial stability like it's a very good opportunity and the only reason why I feel like they're offering you this opportunity is because you want this knowledge for self. It's like you kind of already initiated yourself and trying to seek this knowledge and this wealth for your own. You know what I'm saying? So I know they may seem a little bit weird and it may be a little weird and everything like that. But all of this shit is weird. And <laughs> like <laughs> they say Alice in Wonderland, we're all crazy here. So, you know, it's like um coming to a certain level of understanding about um I wanna say like some type of spiritual practices or something like that. I don't think it's like no wild ass shit. I just wanna say it's like a fucking hippie ass group or some shit like that. Oh shit. Now you got the Queen of Wands, okay? I don't like this Queen of Wands in this um deck for some reason because I feel like she's very controlling like she's a hoverer like she likes to hover over people and make sure she, she's like a micromanager a micromanager of some sorts um and like she has this cat or this uh little all seeing eye trinket I don't know why I feel like she has like a brooch or something like on her shirt or something and it's like a crystal or something, and then she sees things in this crystal. I don't know why I'm getting this weird ass shit, y'all. What the fuck, man? Y'all weird me out with this bullshit. What the fuck type of shit is going on here? All right, man, what is this? you four diamonds. So, again, like... Eh. But you got the fire. I heard the queen say only yesterday you deserve to be beheaded. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What the fuck? Man, what the hell type of shit? And I told y'all I didn't like this little fucking bitch right here, man. Fuck on, don't worry, huh? Fuck on, don't worry, man. I feel like this is some type of group, some type of work situation, some organization, some social group or some shit. Um... Oh, this four diamonds, like four diamonds is like a desk. You know what I'm saying? It's like a work desk. This could definitely be something where it's like you have prominent security around like your work and home environment. You know what I'm saying? Your social and your work and your home environments. I feel like you are, everything is flowing upstream. Um, Everything is flowing upstream, like in regards to your work. And your social standings and um, you making connections and you guys just being where you need to be and finding security in your life. I feel like everything is good. The only thing that is being questioned here. I feel like your need for independence and... I don't know if you, uh, like you're in this group, but you kind of stand out from the group because you don't really be trying to be in the group like that. It's like you're inactive or something. Like, remember I was saying, you something about you being inactive. And, um, because I feel like you feel like these, these people are weird, but it's a good opportunity. 
um, maybe the leader of this group, you be feeling some smoke coming off of her. Like, she be asking you a bunch of weird-ass shit. She got this weird-ass cat that always be sneaking around. You feel like the cat is, <laughs> like, a secret spying eye dog or some shit <laughs> like that. The five of spades is, like, the five of spades is when someone is stabbing you in the back. Like, someone could have told you, I heard the queen say only yesterday you deserve to be beheaded. You see what I'm saying? Look at the queen. The five of spades is like being stabbed in your back. Um, like cutting people out. Like it could be like an axe pick. Like something chipping away at you. Like, you know, like danger in the sense of if you don't separate yourself from these individuals, it's like they'll end up hurting you or you'll end up hurting yourself by something that you could possibly do to get away from like a toxic situation. It's like because these people are backhanded, like they can give you a lot of backhanded compliments like um, you pretty for a thick girl or mm, yeah, those shoes will look better on me or mm. Yeah, your man cute, but you don't know what to do with that. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a real shady ass bitch. Like, she's a real shady ass bitch. Real shade, big shade, palm tree shade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. This woman feels betrayed by you because you're not up under her ass, I feel. Um, she wants everyone to love her. She wants the attention. She wants to be the grand dame. I don't feel like you came into this group to kiss ass. You came into this group to network, chill, have fun, learn some cool shit. It was a good opportunity. Like, thank you guys for inviting me. Like, honestly, I think that you could have... Uh, excelled a lot you know what i'm saying since being in this group but you're just not with this high priestess it's like you like to learn alone like you're not really some you're a loner like you really don't like to be all up in people's shit you know what i'm saying like you have your own practices you have your own way of thinking like the way you may answer some of these questions may not necessarily be the typical answer it's your answer you know what i'm saying like it just is what it is. Um, it says, oh, oysters, come and walk with us. The walrus did beseech. So you already know the story of what happened to the oysters in Alice in Wonderland. Like they convinced the oysters to run away from its mother. And then they put them in a pot with some vinegar and oil and ate their motherfucking ass. So at the end of the day, it's like, I feel like you may be keeping yourself separate from this group for a purpose like you've already think that these motherfuckers are strange as shit you don't like this leader's energy this could be like your supervisor this could be just someone who think that they in control of everybody you like bitch you ain't in control of me like ah like it this seemed like a good opportunity i say this group is a good opportunity but like what the fuck am i supposed to be learning from this shit like i can learn this shit by myself like i don't know so we just gonna keep it moving see what these last cards got to say what's on the other side of you over here thinking the six of earth the pine so the six of earth is like this is like you being hired for a position you being hired for a job this is like um you receiving help charity gift like um I want to say being recognizing your prominence and social standing in the community for your good work and your contribution to the neighborhood and things like that. Um, this is a very good card in regards to like you receiving. Uh, I want to say like you receiving some type of award or acknowledgement for your charitable deeds or something like that. Like you're always kind of trying to do the right thing and help people and things like that um that's kind of what i'm getting out of this that's what i'm getting out of this um that's what i'm getting out of this uh what are these letters and the shit in this pine that like what the fuck is going on with this shit what is going on i don't know what's what they're doing with this this pine I would, one thing I do know is like pine is like isn't that like 
it grows all season and like it never dies or something like that. Um, even with, I don't know, it's like, it's like I'm smelling, so, I want to say that they are writing like a petition or something on this and then they're wrapping it and then they're throwing it in the fire. Um, it's like a petition for blessings, but I don't even feel like this is for you. I feel like this is for other people. Like, do you pray for other people or do you like send off petitions to the universe for other people that you feel are sick, that are in pain, that don't know how to pray for themselves, that like need help or something? Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like you do that. With this high priestess card right here in this card and, and it's like people may come to you with their secrets. They may come to you with their worries and things like that. And um, you may go and pray over them and, and send out blessings to the universe for them to. It's like. You want people to learn how to help their self. In a way. It's like I don't mind you coming to me. But I don't want you to keep coming to me. You know it's like I'm praying to God in the universe. That I'm going to help you this one time. But I, I pray that. You know. That the heavens open up. And just rain down blessings upon you. Just you know it's. It's, it's, it's like this person uses their spiritual gifts. To help people. They do it on their own. I want to say you have your own way, your own belief system. Maybe that's why you think people are strange. Pine is forever. It grows through all seasons. That's why you use the pine, the pine cones, the pine needles. Like if you have an altar, like put a pine cone on your on your altar. Um, and it just smells good. It's something about... They're saying like the smell of like cedar and the pine and the pine needles. It just is something. I don't know. Let me get out of that. Okay. The page of cups in the reverse. The three of spades. Flamingos and mustard both bite. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you're not stupid. Um... Again, you may be rejecting the invitation to the social group. It's not something that necessarily that you love uh, like that. Uh, I don't really feel like your emotional needs are being felt. You are kind of a loner. I don't feel like you are a, a group type of person. I don't feel like you're a group like... Okay, like the three of spades, that represents, of course, it's like sneakiness, betrayal, um, underhandedness, a spy in disguise is what I'm getting. Um, it's like unanswered questions, hidden information, um, arguments, and just... Uh, this is like the three of swords, but it's, it's, it's a lot deeper than a typical three of swords and cardamancy because this can go down towards the way, like if this is um, a love reading, this could warn you against like STDs and things like that. Like if you get this card, you know, like it says flamingos and mustard both bite. So like you could be getting a bad test result. You know what I'm saying? This could have been a new... This could have very much so just been a new lover or something. You could have felt like their emotional, uh, the emotional depth of this relationship was very flighty. Like one minute they're swimming in, the next minute they're swimming out. Um, you definitely felt like it was someone else uh, infiltrating the positive communication in this in this energy between you two. It's like it's something else there and you couldn't figure it out. And it's like your emotions quickly just started to reject it naturally because flamingos and mustard both bite like this is saying like 
I don't need to walk in on you literally fucking someone and know that I'm being fucked. Okay? So, flamingos and mustard both bite. I don't like big ass birds and I don't like mustard on my sandwiches. So, if I don't like one, I don't like the other. I done been through a situation like this before, which I feel like your, your discernment with this high priestess right here is like, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's like I know better. It's like... Like the information that you know is being kept to you. I, that's why you just quickly disassociate yourself with people. I don't even feel like you tell people why you don't want to fuck with them no more. I want to say you're focusing on your work. You're focusing on dedicating your life to giving the people that give to you and praying over people that prayed over you before when you were in a time of sorrow. Um, you're not allowing anyone to bring any sorrow to you. You're not allowing people to bring any drama to you. Um, I feel like you're open to all opportunities, but you're definitely not open to being around little catty ass nasty bitches that is just jealous and hateful for what reason. Bitch, you hate yourself. You understand? If you're sitting on the throne and you're the queen of this club and you think you all that, what the fuck you worried about me for? Like, I really do, like, you're, like... If this is if, if the opportunity comes with me having to deal with individuals like this and y'all asking me dumb ass questions, it's like I do my own work. I do my own spiritual work on the side and I do enough for the community and I do enough charitably. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you don't need an organization or something like that. Um, I, don't, I feel like maybe in the past, like that's why you cut yourself out from. Working with organizations and groups before because of catty ass, hating people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't even feel like you're trying to get the attention. But just because, you know what I'm saying? It's like people do want you to, to be more social and stuff more. But that's just not who you are. I just don't feel like that's who you are. I, I, I want to say that people are trying to make you be more social or be something that you're just not like you're a loner you like to be to yourself you like to do your shit on your own like you appreciate the opportunity but y'all are not gonna you know what i'm saying like i don't like this like i don't like this thing like, you remind me of like a controlling mother or something like that and both of y'all can kiss my ass like no i don't i don't know let me see the eight of cups i told you like you're walking away from like the, <laughs> you took Everything that you thought that you wanted from this situation and its opportunity, you stacked them up at the door. You know what I'm saying? And you left it there and you walked away. Like, yeah, when pigs fly. Like, I don't. I'm going home. I'm getting my bottle of wine. I'm turning my show on. I'm kicking back in my recliner chair. I like fresh lighting. I want to open up my windows. I am being inactive for a little bit. I'm staying to myself, doing my inner work and my charitable work on my own. I set my alarm. Y'all don't come knocking on my door if you do. Doo doo. Hello. Back away. I'm going to call the police. Thank you. Bye bye. Boop. Okay. From the cell phone. <laughs> like, you ain't even got to get up. From the cell phone. Why are you at my door? Didn't I leave? I didn't I say I was deactivating my um, subscription. I don't want to be in this group anymore. Y'all, why y'all at? What, what, like what? what? <laughs> Fuck alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What is this? The Ace of Clubs. I think I could if only I knew how to begin. So I feel like you need to start your own fucking club. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to start your own club, your own group. Like this is like a great fucking idea. Like you can do your shit your own way. Like I feel like you already have a group of people. It's probably like six or seven of them already that I feel like you help in some type of fundamental way. I've given people your time, attention, advice, or like you could like literally. If you have enough money like that, be financially helping a few people that are like in need. You know what I'm saying? And really, really need your help. More, I think it's just time and you helping educate people and helping people understand their self-awareness, how to love their self, how to. Um, I feel like there's someone who could be helping someone through school or with their schoolwork. I want to say like it may be like two children that are not yours 
or something like you may be just giving them time with this high priestess energy right there and just giving them education because it's like these kids want to learn you know what I'm saying and I want what I pray over them to to bless them for eternity because I don't want them to need me when they get older you know what I'm saying like the time and attention that I'm putting into them now I want it to be everlasting that's why that pine is right there so I don't think that you even have time to be hanging out with no stupid ass social groups. I feel like you're leaving your social group so that you can focus on the people that really need your help. Um, like these people don't need your help. These people don't need your help. And I feel like at the end of the day, I want to say your discernment was on point about these group see that's why we had to grow and, and mature a little bit because it's not about love all the time because this has nothing to do with love this has to do with you separating yourself from people that are fucking haters you know what i'm saying it's like you know what i'm saying like i gotta kiss your ass to be in this group like no like i just go start my own fucking group because i'm already doing i'm already doing it anyway so i feel like you should put like some actual uh, action behind this like take the idea and, 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 and put it off the ground you know what I'm saying like take it off of the ground if you're going to walk away from this walk into your own foundation your own club start your own club you are your own club you understand what I'm saying so I feel like that was the lesson in this you know that's what we were trying to figure out like why the fuck was I <laughs> because you need to start your own club you need to start your own social club like that's it like that was it. Bleep, bleep. That's all, folks. Okay, Libra. I'm sorry. This wasn't that juicy or whatever. I mean, it kind of was to me. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, anyway, I gotta go. Start your own club. Invite me. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your new club. Peace.